Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here. We got a video request. If you need any kind of point in the right direction or a good swift kick in the ass, go to assholeconsulting.com and bring your wallet because it is not a free service. Uh, who writes? Matt writes. Hey asshole, over the past few years I've developed a keen interest in physics from Einstein's theory of relativity to quantum mechanics. Trouble is, my understanding of these concepts is trivial and incomplete. I would love to study physics and make a career out of it. I'm writing to you because I can't really see how physicists are relevant to the present job market. I did some Google searches, and the only job descriptions that really came up were research and education, which sounds like other words for no jobs. I'm motivated to study physics and the maths too, but I want to know if physics is a worthless, worthless degree. Thanks, man. Um, well, in terms of pure math and economics, it's not totally worthless, but I'll put a chart down below, a link. Uh, it is one of the more worthless degrees in the STEM fields because it's not applied, it's not practical. And they'll even say, applied physics, don't, no, not applied physics. It's still fucking, it's too theoretical, all right? Doesn't mean that's bullshit, doesn't mean it's not real, it's too theoretical, it's not practical enough. And since starting salaries and the earnings you make is about practicality, you have to go into something that's more focused. So this is why an engineering degree, you know, chemical engineering, chemi uh, electrical engineering, not necessarily now, but over the long haul, uh, <coughs> petroleum engineering, things like that make a little bit more. Now, the, the real money in physics is like, as you found out, it's in academia or government research facilities. And guess what? You need your doctorate. So it's very much like ed, uh, economics. It's pretty much, it's practical, it's helpful, but the only people really hiring are academia and government. And if you can get into that, there's some private sector stuff too. Oh, you have your doctorate, we might use you. Um, but for the most part, no, you need to get your master's or doctorate in it. And you're right. You're just going to be a fucking parasitic teacher or a fucking government worker that, you know, yeah, go study that star over there. It won't do anything to help us here. We already found out. They're always discovering new Earth planet. We found a new Earth planet. Did you really? Or did you just see that the star that you're watching gets a little fatter on one side versus the other? And you, 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 know, you speculate that there might be a Earth-like planet around. I mean, if that's all you're going to fucking do, fuck your physics degree. So I would definitely go into the engineering. You'll, you'll definitely get hit on the math. I know you like the math. You'll get hit on the math. Minor in physics? Absolutely. Uh, but in terms of like making money and getting your, your bang for your buck, yeah, I would go engineering. Minor in physics. Pursue it as, a, as an intellectual hobby as well. And then maybe like after you get some money and you're employed and, and all that, then maybe, maybe consider getting a master's or a doctorate in physics to be maybe become a, a teacher or a physicist down the road. And also keep in mind, the world's greatest physicists didn't have their doctorate degrees. They didn't. They just studied physics. That's what they did. And um, I'd be really curious to see all the Manhattan Project people and see how many of them had doctorates. You don't need a doctorate. A doctorate just means you were stupid enough to spend that much more time and money in school on something that only charity would hire in the form of education and government. So you want to become an engineer of some kind, you'll definitely, you will definitely get physics, don't worry. You can minor in physics and still get your, your intellect challenged, uh, but in terms of employability, yeah, there, there really isn't a, a compelling argument. It's not as bad as majoring in English in an English-speaking world, um, but when you look at the chart, you'll see like, okay, on average, they do kind of okay, but man, when you look at how wide the distribution is, especially on the downside, uh, you know, a lot of them are only starting at 30,000 a year. I mean, oh, you're teachers, I mean, and, and, and you know what? Those who can't do, teach. So don't become somebody that can't do. Become somebody who can do. And don't teach. Become an engineer. So, Anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.